welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, um, I'm hoping that you guys have all been good. Um, uh, hopefully you've watched my other three videos that I've made. Fortunately, back with the fourth. <laughs> um, so I have been doing some things with the, um, uh, with the chassis. I have updated a couple things. Uh, I've done a couple things off camera and, um, I figured now would be a good time to do some things on camera, my guess. Um, I have ordered some things. I ordered the uh, ESC for the truck. Um, I've ordered a couple other things for the truck. I'm thinking about ordering a different controller for my other truck that I have. Um, I'm thinking about using the Dumbo RC on this and then getting something else for my other truck. Um, I'm looking at a couple other remotes, but um, right now I'm thinking the Dumbo RC that I got is going to be used for this and this only. So let's go on with the build and uh, show you what, what I got. <laughs> so since I last left you guys, I've done more on this chassis. Uh, as you can see, I have added this plate right here. Um, again, riveted. Added another plate back here, riveted, just so it could, uh, just to sturdy up the chassis some. Cause I mean, it's really <laughs> you can I, I'm I'm you can hardly flex. I don't want to pull it, push it too much, cause I don't want it to break. I uh, you know doing a lot of work on this thing and um so yeah so what i also did was i made this plate right here so these two holes here and these two holes here are going to be oh there you go these two and these two they're going to be mounting on the chassis that's where oh and i also added the these two pieces these um angle aluminum on the chassis because that's where this is going to mount on to here like so so right now this is just going to slide under this is going to slide under like so and since i already drill out the holes i'm just lining everything up so that's how it's going to want to be boom so I figured since I did this, um, I also drilled out, as you guys can see, I also drilled out the holes here for the, um, for the transmission. Um, I was going to add another, here we go. I ended up getting some more aluminum. This is a uh, thinner, as you guys can see, this is thinner aluminum than the, uh, than the one that's on here. Uh, this is a 116 thick or something. Yeah, this is 116 thick. The other one that I used was uh, an eighth inch thick. Um, of course, I'm using the eighth inch thick for the transmission. To mount the transmission, I was going to add some of this onto the chassis here. Just, you know, keep it, add it like that so that way... When I go to mount the transmission, I basically had this whole piece flat. Um, but I started looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to need to do all that. Um, I'm not going to need to do all that. So it's going to be fine the way it is. Um, now, what I haven't done was I left this piece out right here. The transmission where I'm mounting the transmission I left it out just for the main fact that I'm going to I figured with you guys I would end up um, putting it together with you guys uh, putting on the transmission just to see how it looks with the trans um, next step what I'm going to do is I ended up these uh, two pieces that I put in this piece here and this piece 
what I wound up doing, which actually looks like crap, as you guys can see, I brazed it. I braised some of it down here, up here. I mean, I'm sorry, up here, down here, on this side. It looks like ass. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. Um, but I did it. I'm going to paint the chassis black anyway. It's going to hide it. So, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do, what we're going to do today, while I have you guys watching, um, I'm going to rivet this plate onto the chassis. And I'm going to end up um, mount the transmission on the chassis just, you know, so we can get a good visual and see how it all looks. Um, so I'm going to get my uh, trusty rivets that I got here. Now the rivets that I'm going to use to mount this plate on, the rivets that I'm going to use to mount that plate on, they are one eighth by three eighths so they're three eighths of an inch long and they're one eighth of an inch thick um, the three eighths is good to use with these plates the one eighth inch thick plates um, those are good to use for that just for the main fact that the plate is one eighth of an inch and these rivets are three eighths of an inch so they will end up holding on to the uh they'll end up getting a good grab on it so let's put some rivets in here to this one which see the rivet isn't fitting in there for some odd apparent reason there we go i think that rivet might be a little bit thicker so grab my rivet gun like that, put it on, and squeeze. It's a two pumper. There we go. Needle comes out. Next, put that in. Squeeze. Another two pumper. Needle comes out. That broken part. So let's grab another two rivets, because I don't know what the deal was with those two. I see what it is now. The holes for the bottom. I don't, you guys ain't going to be able to tell real good, but right in here, the holes are not lining up for the top and the bottom. They're not lining up with the... Uh, the angle aluminum and that thick piece they're not lining up together so what I'll do grab my trusty drill bore it out a little bit there we go two more rivets in that well, wasn't that hard to do so grab, squeeze, come on, there we go, broke that off, another two pumper, bam, and that is mounted, alright, so, um, again, I have a couple things that I have ordered for this, um, for the truck, let's just say. A couple things I've ordered for the truck. Um, I'm not going to show you guys what it is yet. That'll probably be in the next video. Um, the next video, I should be mocking up the wheels, uh, the axles. Should be mocking all that up uh, in the next video. I'm not going to do it in this video. Right now, I'm just trying to mount the transmission onto the chassis to put into the body um, just to get it to uh, see how it works out. Because um, I got to make sure that the transmission is not going to 
hit the interior of the Hummer. Um, so without further ado, let's go on ahead and mount this transmission on. Um, so what I wound up doing actually to get the holes for, even though you guys can see what I ended up doing, I drilled out the four holes. I drilled out these four holes. What I had to wind up doing is kind of ex make the hole a little bit wider. These three at least. This one turned out fine. For some reason when I did it, these three holes ended up being off. Completely off. What I did was I made this right here. I made this little template. Uh, I made this little template from the transmission where it mounts. I literally, this is what I did. Same size and everything. Um, actually, it was on this way. So, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But, I mean, I, I made this template the size, the way the transmission is. Transfer that onto the metal, the aluminum. Somehow, some way, the holes were still off. I don't know. Whatever. I have not tried this yet to see how the transmission is going to mount on here. So let's hope that these holes that I have are right and that they will um, be right. And that they'll be right. Uh, let's hope. So these screws that I have here has like a little sleeve on it. Uh, you guys can see right there has like that little sleeve. I'm not going to use these screws. These screws are way too long and it's going to defeat the purpose of what I'm doing here. So just for mock up, just for mocking up, we're going to use them because this is just a mock up. There's one screw, there's another screw. Now I have, I gotta try to find these in black just to uh, get this on. I'd rather use black screws. And I lost the other one. Oh, nope, found it! So, looking good so far. There's two, three, and four. Nice and tight on here. That's what she said. <laughs> nice and tight like a tiger. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, we have the transmission mounted. Ooh, that's put on some weight. We have the transmission mounted onto the chassis. So, one thing that I was afraid of, my luck is that the way I cut out the holes I'm going to try to get a square on here to see make sure that the spur gear is square with the chassis so this wasn't the square that I wanted to use but this is the square that I got so let's see how off a little bit it is off a little how can you tell you might be asking all right yeah she's off 
she actually wants to be cocked a little bit. So I did move it. I did turn the um, transmission a little bit. Now so I have to be turned the other way. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. So I have the square onto the chassis. Go into the spur gear. There we go. Actually, you know what? I had it on wrong. So yeah. Ooh, it's not 100% how you're supposed to do it. But guess what? It's working. So this is what I'm gonna do to make sure that. So I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I'm just holding the square firmly to the chassis. And up against the spur gear and that is dead on whoa 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 that is dead on square so that's good all right so the way the transmission is right now that's how the transmission is going to get mounted so what I'm going to do is I had already traced it out how it's going to be um, so I like the way it's so you guys can see it's nicely mounted on there um, the motor is off a little bit right here on the side from the chassis you guys can see that right here it's poking out a little bit what I was trying to achieve was trying to get the whole transmission with the motor inside on the inside of the chassis here oh there we go i was trying to get the transmission here the motor mounted on the transmission trying to have it like more centered um the more i would have it centered the drive shaft would be out uh, about right there somewhere right with the way it is mounted now if i had the transmission over that way more this would end up going farther out so I'm actually kind of happy the way it is that means it's not going out too far it's gonna be right around there that's good enough uh, right around there somewhere so it'll be it won't be too big so this is how the transmission is going to mount so now let me grab the body right here grab the body here and what we're going to do is set this in put the chassis in the body come on get in there you go there you go oh yes here guys come take a look at this so that is exactly where I wanted that to be. As you guys can see, the nut for the uh, the nut for the spur gear, it's right exactly where I wanted it to be. That absolutely perfect. So we're getting somewhere. So now what I gotta work on is where the uh, chassis is going to be mounted there we go so where the chassis is going to be mounted onto the body i have i don't know if you guys can see but right here right there where i have the pen sole it's a lead pencil i have a center line uh, of the body that's the center of the body right there I have a blue line 
which is the center of the chassis. So this chassis is going to be right about there. That's center. At least from my eye, it looks center. Um, so that's where the chassis is going to be mounted. Um, with that being done, what I'm actually thinking about doing now, the chassis, I'm actually thinking about lowering it into the body. So this whole mechanism back here that I have, what I'm thinking about doing is probably chopping up a little bit more back here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, just to lower the, tri the chassis into the body more, which I think will give the truck a little more of a not stock look stock is kind of sort of what I'm looking for uh, but not the word I'm looking for uh, scale I'm sorry so I'm thinking me doing that will end up giving the truck a little more of a scale look um, I did order tires for the truck which look more scale than the HPI Crawler King tires um, I'm not really a fan of those tires for what I mean they're good somewhat um, you know I'm mostly gonna be on the trails and gonna be out here in my driveway with this thing and it, with those tires it just bounce the whole truck just bounces a lot um, I wish I had actually gotten a video of the truck before I did this so you guys could actually see how much it bounces around um, Chassis needs to go over this way more. I mean, but my eye, it looks square. It looks, uh, it looks centered. Um, so I'm thinking about lowering back here. Um, just lowering this whole thing in a little bit more. I don't want to go too much uh, because I don't want, as you guys can see there, I don't want the transmission to the interior. Uh, as you guys can see right there uh, on this side you guys can see that I have that hole cut out which I'm thinking now with the uh, chassis the way it is um, I'm thinking I might be able to do something with the interior uh, basically cover it up somewhat try to get another driver uh, partner um, you know, try to get a couple of figures in here. Uh, I was thinking about, I was thinking about getting the doors to open too. Um, I don't know yet. I'm thinking I might just leave that the way it is. Uh, one of the things I definitely want to do is try to get the interior to look good. Um, you know, give it more of a scale look. Um, that's what I might do. I have styrene somewhere. In my house <laughs> uh, I haven't messed with this truck for I'm gonna say a good three years four years um, so I have things from when I was living in my apartment uh, ever since I got my house I haven't really done anything RC now with this whole COVID-19, I'm doing RC. Yeah, I just started going back to work again. Uh, thank God, luckily. So, the videos that I'm doing, I'm trying to make a video and putting it out at least once a week. Um, so, I know I'm blabbing on. I know you don't want to see me blabbing on. But, this is where I'm at right now with the chassis. Um... Again, I'm thinking about doing doors open, doors closed. I don't know yet. The hood, I'm not. Just for the main fact that the hood, I have this piece on here of uh, plexiglass that I might not even use to mount the chassis on. Uh, I might end up using a bit or piece of metal here in the front uh, just to go across 
because the way I had it was my the battery was mounted right up here in the front which might still be what I have to do is I have to lower this chassis in more to the body yeah because <laughs> the front was up so instead of it being leveled out like that the front was kind of slanted like this which I didn't like uh, it wasn't it was noticeable I wasn't I'm not gonna say it wasn't noticeable it was very noticeable I don't care who you are you can notice it uh, I know I noticed it and it irritated me so that's what I'm gonna do so I got the transmission mounted I got tires there they are on the way uh, I have them ordered I have lights ordered um, so they should be here soon I don't know when um, I gotta check and see so I still have a couple things that I'm gonna be doing this truck so people thank you for watching uh, stay tuned uh, please hit that like button and subscribe because there's a lot more coming to this body um, there's a couple things I'm thinking about doing with it I'm not 100% sure yet but subscribe hit that like button and hit the bell hit the bell so you guys know when my next video is out so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing to it um, we're making progress so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time